us here at the Multimedia Group. On Thursday evenings, we get to sit with people who are blazing a trail in their respective industries. Yeah. Living the life we admire and adore. Sharing the lessons with many behind them. And this evening, I have one such amazing man. Now, tonight's episode is a bittersweet one for us at Multimedia. Yeah. Because we actually get to profile and celebrate a man who has been with us for five good years. Leading a team of dedicated people, highly skilled people, to deliver world-class content across the globe. And very troublesome people as well. So, I mean, to lead a team like that, listen, you've got to be a man of many parts. Tonight, we celebrate a great man of substance, a people's person, a man of style as well. My guest tonight is an award-winning, accomplished leader with over 22 years of experience in communication and marketing and media. Over the years, he had the privilege of leading, advising, and successfully contributing to companies in the area of business management, operations, brand management, programming, marketing, digital media, content management and acquisitions advertising promotion sales corporate communication customer relationship management client service event project management and even fashion <laughs> listen this is the man of many parts you probably have seen him looking dapper in an african outfit he rocks it with pride he looks like a movie star when he's on the red carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the managing director of the multimedia group, multi-TV, Sun Talk, Sing, Rang Sing, here yeah, on Joy 99.7 FM. <laughs> I see a big smile on your face and talk. <laughs> yeah. Good evening. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Nice, nice, nice. Now, tonight we get to celebrate you. And that's, um, I, I mentioned earlier that it's a bittersweet feeling because um, mm -hmm. in a few days, yeah, you would not be with the multimedia group again. Yeah. It's, uh, before you even asked what the saddest moment in my life, let like <laughs> me say this is one of it. This is one of it. This yeah. is one of it. It's like, you know, uh, uh, leaving the team after five years and four months yeah yeah uh, it's gonna be tough i must say mm. um but nevertheless uh good things will come to an end eventually yeah eventually uh, but, uh, but uh what we hope that is like you know after my departure i mean i just hope that the company will flourish further yeah and also become more successful well we are very sure of that because you've laid an amazing foundation in this five years that you've worked with the company and we're very confident that we would actually take it even higher sure because of the good work that you've done over the period amen 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 <laughs> you've you've been in ghana for how long santok okay in total i've been here for eight years for uh, eight years eight years in total um my first assignment was in 2010 mm. to uh, 2012 i yeah. was with the uh, tv3 network ghana at that time yeah uh then i left uh then in 2014 i came back again to multimedia group okay so, so now before we even get into the real serious stuff mm -hmm. man how come you always look this dapper like <laughs> yo i mean you're you're always putting some style here i mean everybody knows you as a man of style mm -hmm. you're rocking the african prints and african outfits that your designers did you handpick them <laughs> what, 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 where's this you know affinity for the african fabric from <laughs> well um i think i picked up along the way since i came uh you know when I, you see around uh how people are you know attending yeah. events and they are all you know um dashing out all this good uh good uh attire mm -hmm. so i thought it's like no why not i think i need to be on the on the same page uh, as well so, so did, you, did you set out to create a brand with it oh not really i mean see, I, perhaps it just happened because um you know one of the attribute of leadership is walk the talk mm. if you want your people to be stylish if you want yeah. your people to portray a good image out there 
you have to lead, you have to lead you the, have to look the part as exactly. well exactly so you know so that's that's how one of the thing that i do is like you know and then when i i came then i saw, saw this african print i mean yeah. it's such a vibrant colors and i love colors yeah so that's it. I said, okay. So so why not? You know, we will will push yeah. the boundary further. I mean, I was I push myself as well mm. because um, uh, now going back uh, home, it's going to be difficult for me to take the whole <laughs> whole collection <laughs> along with me because uh, because you know a different culture has yeah. different uh, you know different uh, liking or different yeah. kind of fashion. So, uh, but nevertheless, so what are you going like, to do with your clothes? You're going to auction them. Sh- should we auction them? <laughs> not auction, perhaps give it to my friends give or it to my your friends uh. or my colleagues, whoever is interested. I mean, they can come for it. Uh, yeah, but quite a lot of it I'm taking back. In fact, I'm not too sure I'm going to wear it though. Uh, but I'm going to take it along. Maybe as memories. Yeah, you should. You should. <laughs> I mean, because look, if you get on his Instagram page, you'd see the different <laughs> kinds and well created and crafted African prints that he puts on for these red carpet events and whatnot. His business meetings. My goodness, Santa does it all. <laughs> now you can actually check him out. He's wearing a very lovely piece as well. We're live on our Facebook page. Uh, you can go check it out. Check out the video of our managing director of Multi TV, Santa Singh, who leaves us at the end of this year after five years. And he heads back to Malaysia, his home country. Yes, Malaysia, truly Asia. Truly Asia. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you miss Malaysia? Oh, yeah, I do. But uh, I, I travel a lot uh, every quarter or every few months. You know, that I normally go back to visit my family. Okay. Uh, so, so, yeah. You're still in touch with Malaysia. Of course, very much. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you f- can't forget your roots. That's How important. has Ghana treated you, Santok? Very well. That's the reason why I came back for a second time. If they didn't treat me well, I wouldn't have. You would, you wouldn't have come back. <laughs> yeah, uh, though I, of course I have my own experience uh, mm. while I was here, but uh, it's 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 been largely good. Ninety-nine percent has been positive. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. So, so uh, yeah, so you see, one of the things that you need to do is like wherever you find yourself, you need to blend in. Mm-hmm. You know, so make sure you blend in with the with the, the people, with the culture, and all that. So it's like it was very important. So I open up myself to to be changed. To 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 adapt. Yeah. To the you know. The Was it easy talk. blending? I would say yes. One thing is because um, the Ghanaians were very welcoming. You you guys are really amazing people. You are very welcoming, very loving, very courteous. It's like you know, and that was one of the point that I made. So I need to go back there. Yeah. Because I just love the people. I mean, they just embrace you mm-hmm. for who you are and and you know especially when you are able to impact them or or, or contribute into their life mm. they'll just take you as their own family and that's what i think ghana has done for no, me no hints of discrimination at any point of course they will always be but i don't want to see it as as, as a hindrance to, to me to move forward uh, i would rather see it as a as a learning curve yeah or or, or or turn it around like i always say it's like you know whatever negativity or adverse situation that we are in Try to find the positive out of it yeah because there's always learning behind all these uh, situations so so that's what I, say, I always say it's like no let's let's learn from from that and then yeah move forward so and be open have mm-hmm. an open mind i mean it's like you know because a lot of my friends i would say uh, those obruni friends <laughs> they they always want to just click around themselves okay you know and uh, i rather find my pleasure in the other way around i always like to be among Ghanaians. Mm. that's i feel home in fact when i go to any events there's, there's a lot of obunis i rather feel awkward because I, 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 f- I feel that i'm at the wrong place wow yeah because a lot of i, I think there's a lot of pretentious going on it's like a lot of pretend and it's like you know i don't like it yeah when i'm i'm with, with so us. you're more comfortable with the Ghanaian community very much than even with the uh, expert community exactly very much wow that's impressive <laughs> yeah and well it's no surprise that we call you kwabana yes <laughs> kwabana santok the tuesday born but utichi what's what's your kakra don't go for that <laughs> oh what is your favorite okay he's lost now <laughs> so for starters tell me what what brought you to ghana what made you leave malaysia okay. all the way to africa to say look i'm gonna work in ghana okay actually um 
you know the tv3 uh ghana yes. used to be owned by the malaysian company so that's why i was working in in malaysia with tv3 malaysia okay okay so in 2010 the company decided that they want to sell off the their african business however the business was going into losses mm -hmm. so and they couldn't find buyer so they need to send somebody to turn around the company quickly and then find a buyer and then offload the whole uh, the whole uh, uh, company uh, then looking around within the, the company in malaysia i said okay this guy <laughs> has a has a potential because he has experience from almost all part of the broadcasting industry then i in fact i was in a i was at a wedding lunch with my wife we were sitting there and suddenly i received a call from my ceo then I would just walk out from the room and it's like, you know, I said, yes, boss, well, what can I do for you? He said, Santo, you're going to Ghana. I said, what? <laughs> say, yeah, you're going to Ghana. When? Like next month. Wow. That was in January and then I have to leave in February. And I have two small kids, my wife. Um, when I came back to the table and said, my wife says, said, what? you look so blue. What happened? <laughs> I said, we are going to Africa. She freaked out. It's like, you know. Wow. So, but then uh, somehow or other, we were very positive about it. And she said, yeah, why not? Maybe this is going to be a, a new experience for us. It's like, you know, life changing and things yeah. like that. So eventually we agreed. Then uh, by March, I was here mm. with my wife. Uh, then um, without the kids first. So, so that's the reason I was in, in, in Africa, in, in Ghana. Particularly. Okay. Uh, so then, um, you know, so I quickly came and then managed to turn around the company within six months, a span of six months from losses to profit. Wow. Within six months? Within six months, yeah. What, what did it take? Well, a lot of uh, push, a lot of, um, uh, what do you call it, change of strategy in terms of uh, our programming. And mm -hmm. it's just like putting uh, the right strategy and then driving your team okay. towards achieving the strategy. I mean, it was like, uh, uh, it was, um, uh, it was, it wasn't easy. I was young. I was 38 years old, mm. became the CEO of a company for the first time. Mm -hmm. And you know, you have something to prove yeah. to my bosses back home that I can do it. Yeah. So I was pushing and pushing. I was very um, aggressive. I have my own uh, bad experience as well in, in, in TV3 at that time. It's like, you know, there was a lot of pushback from yeah. the team. It's like, who, who is this, this guy Obuni coming and pushing us around and things like that. You yeah. know? They, they didn't like it. Okay. There was a few incidences uh, that, that happened and then and it forced me to also step back. Maybe I'm just going too much. Too, you you too, had to too. also withdraw at some point. Of course, because that then you need to adapt. Yeah. To, to the, the, the culture, the way of working and uh, it's like, you know, you mm -hmm. cannot be pushing yeah like you know the language that you use you have to be very careful in terms of you won't offend because of the color difference yeah you know because um i always say it's like you know if if you get comments from your own counterparts uh, uh Ghanaian counterparts it won't be as bad as you getting it from another person from foreign country yeah you know? yeah so i have my own experience a uh, bad experience mm -hmm. um you know, at the spur of the moment, because the passion, you know, some word came out from the mouth and all that, it was, it was quite offensive to some people. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, then um, we learned from it, like I said, we learned from it and all that. So, so, you know, so we managed to quickly turn around and all that. Eventually, we found a buyer. We sold the company. Then I stayed on for another year for the transition between the, the previous owner and the new owner. Yeah. And then after that, eventually, I left in 2012. Now, so that what brought me to Ghana. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm just imagining that the, how arduous that task is to move to a different country, yeah. miles from your home, and even worse, <laughs> the task that has been handed you mm -hmm. to make sure you turn around the company from losses to profitability in a very short space of time. Yeah, and you are confronted with cultural differences persona ego whatever it yeah. is and you had to deal with all of that so in in, in the myriad of all, all of these challenges which one stood out more for you which which was the the toughest challenge you had to deal with changing the mindset of my team that 
convincing that it can be can be done. Yeah, that we can achieve the impossible. That that I think is like uh, making them believe that things can change. Mm. We 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 are not born with the 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 fate that we are in or the situation that we are in. Mm-hmm. Things can be changed if we work towards it. So that that part of it was like and 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 that is majority what I find the issue here in, in Ghana is our mindset. Sometimes we just have decided that it. it this is the way to go and all that there's no two way about it okay and 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 to to show people that it's like it can be done i yeah. mean uh multimedia was one of the example but that will go yeah uh, later Ooh. but it's like you know that was the biggest i think it's, uh, and 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 slowly that was more for me than the reason why for me to blend in yeah. quickly okay for them to believe that i'm there for them yeah you know, I'm I'm doing things for them, mm-hmm. for their benefit, not yeah. for my own benefit. So that that what took us uh, took me. Um, uh, I think that was the most important part that I needed to do. Yeah. To to be part of the team. In, in your first year, I, I I'm very sure. Yes, you're you're going to say it was tough. You had to deal with this and all. It was good mm-hmm. and all. But there probably was a moment you were like, "Sun talk, I'm going back. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of this." Did you ever have a moment like that? I did. I did. A uh, later part, actually. It's like because not so much of the mm-hmm. the issue with the team again. Mm-hmm. Is that moment came when the new owners came and then they put me there as a CEO, as an expert of the business. Where else they themselves don't have the experience of running a media channel, but they were not listening to you. As, oh. as, as, a, as a professional yeah so that was the biggest challenge like, and you are there you are advising you are giving them it's like you know the strategy to do and all that they said no so that was the moment i said i think I, I i'm not needed here anymore so it's like it's time for me to leave so that was the one time that i, I felt uh yeah. you know. there was another time before that was when i used to get threat threats yeah because you know i was pushing people to 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 deliver yeah so there was a lot of pushback so there was one time that i i uh i think some people were let go from the company and then i received threat um that you know that you better watch what you're doing we know where your kids are schooling we know where do you st- where you stay and things like that you know wow so ma- at that moment uh, it's like you know i th- i also thought that you know why am I killing myself for this? Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like if they they don't want me to do what am I supposed to do? So might as well I leave. So there were a few moments of, of th- that that came and all that. But again, yeah. um I had a target. Yeah. And I also want to prove a point. Wow. So, you know, I stayed on. Of course, I had a lot of support from my wife and my family and, mm-hmm. and that that's again that's another point that you know that that's was awesome. so what wife and family moved here now? No, then then they moved yeah here. then they were they were here my kids uh, uh school here for two years my wife was here with me um then um i mean all of us enjoyed our stay i mean all of them will say that they they enjoy themselves uh but then when the second assignment came uh, at multimedia they stayed home okay they, then they stayed i, I came alone yeah so i used to travel back and forth wow. to, to visit them if you're just tuning in, I'm spending time with Santok Singh, MD of Multi TV here at the Multimedia Group. Um, he's been with us for a little over five years. At the end of this year, he ends his service to the company and returns back to his home country of Malaysia. I just got a message from uh, one of our friends listening who says, Lexus, I'm confused now. And I thought he was Indian. <laughs> Is he an Indian born in Malaysia? <laughs> That's from Chris Yofuri. So uh, you've got to clarify that. Sure. Yeah. You know, I, I I'm a Malaysian. Uh, I'm Malaysian, no. but I have Indian blood in me. Oh, you so have my, Indian blood. Yeah, so my ancestors are, uh, has Indian. I have an Indian background. Oh wow! Yeah, but you've, you've born and bred in Malaysia. Born and bred in Malaysia. Yeah. If you have any questions for Santok, you can WhatsApp us zero two four four three four zero four three seven. Let Let's get to know what growing up was like back in Malaysia, mm-hmm. and probably you can compare that to what you've seen here in ghana what kind of upbringing did you have what kind of home are you from are you from an affluent home T- tell us about it and that's on the contrary i'm not from the affluent home very humble beginning very humble uh, my dad um uneducated can't read and write he worked as a labor in a in a mine mm. 
my wife, my, my, my mother was a housewife. So we, there were five of us siblings. I'm the youngest. So it was very average upbringing. Uh, uh, my dad was a single breadwinner, and uh, you know, working as a hard labor. I mean, he spends hours and hours, more than twelve hours in the in the mine. He go the underground to dig, to to basically hard labor. Work. Yeah. So and uh, you know, he managed to bring up uh, all of us. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was very um, very normal, very mm -hmm. average. Uh, I'm not saying we were poor, but we were mm -hmm. we were okay. Mm -hmm. uh, then we were uh, staying at a, at a very small town. Um, then um, later on, the mine got got. Uh, I think they, they 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 closed the mine, and then my dad lost his job. Then he was looking, looking what to do and all that. I think he opened up a small 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 restaurant, and you know all of us we used to help there. So we used to go to school, come back from school, help him in the restaurant to work mm -hmm. and things like that. So. That is how our uh, growing up uh, was, and in a small two-bedroom house mm -hmm. in the, a the, village. The times get so tough that, I mean, you 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 could really feel it. Yeah, we do. But uh, as much as possible, I think my my parents didn't let us feel that way too much. Um, no, everything was provided for the basics. Mm -hmm. So there was no um, uh, no reason for us to complain of anything. Um, and uh, only slowly then later on it's like you know then we move my dad decided to move to a bigger town then uh, you know things got a bit better but still very tough in terms of because all of us were involved in that, in that, that family business mm -hmm. uh, so it's like you know going to school coming back and still helping out uh, with my family and things and until now we are still I, I would say still an average family. I mean, so we are still uh, very much um, know where our roots were, where we came from, and then not forgetting that. So it's very average. I would what say. about education? Okay, education. Interesting. Education. Um, you know, like I said, that my, my 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 dad was just a single breadwinner, and they were not able to afford everybody to be sent to university. Mm -hmm. So they have to find one person. I think they could only afford to send one person to university. And they, they have to make sure that they have to choose one person that will make the most out of it. So when my, my siblings was like going to school and all that, they would, so he realized that they, they were average and all that. I think they found me that this was most eligible to get that, that, that benefit. So then they could afford to... I was the privileged one, I would say. To, to be sent to university. Wow. And, uh, out of the five? Out of the five, yeah. Uh, then uh, yeah, I went and got my degree. Well, what did you study? Uh, communication. Okay. My, my major was in advertising. Uh. So that's when uh, I was like, you know, really um, appreciative of my dad you yeah. know, for, for, for the thing that they have done for me. And there was just no turning back from that. That, that should have put a little bit of a burden on you. Maybe oh, yeah. psychologically. Of course, it's like uh, you know uh, because now the all the hope it is on uh, you, is on on me. You and don't have to feel the family son talk. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and there's one moment that I really made me like you know made me think that it's like you no, know, my dad was proud of me, or it's the happiest one of my happiest moment was when I went to university. You know, when you go to university, you go through the orientation week. Yeah, the one week of orientation, or yeah. it's like two weeks of orientation. Then I remember that coming back home. Um, then I was like taking a nap. Then I saw him coming to the room. I I, re I I was I was like awake, but I was like pretending to sleep and all that. <laughs> he came to me and then he just gave me a, a kiss on my cheek. And then he left. Wow. So for me, that was the most one of the happiest moment for me and perhaps proudest mon moment for him. Yeah. And. Um, I, I really can't forget that, that moment until now. It's like, you know, so that, that like heavy burden on me. So yeah. now it was on me to prove, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, and, and then uh, perhaps change the fate of the family or, or, to, or be, uh, become the inspiration for the family. To, like, you know, Do you think you've been able to change the fate of the family? Uh, to a certain extent, yes. 
um, uh, but uh, everybody was doing their own part. Okay. It's like, you know, once you grow up, you know, you everybody's like working and doing their own, perhaps different professions mm -hmm. and, and things like that. But it's like, you know, as much as possible, what I, I think I managed to do is like inspire my other family members, especially my nephews and nieces and all that to, 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 to showcase that if you want to succeed, you can. Okay. So as, as, as long as you work, you, you work hard yeah. and, and achieve the goal that you have set yourself to. Yeah. Uh, so, um, so, yeah. So so that was uh, really uh, tough uh, going through universities and you know making sure that you know after that then go into the working world and mm -hmm. and, and making sure that you know you are you are on top and, yeah. and it's not try to progress and things like that. So so you did uh, advertising in your undergrad. Yep. And then what, what mm -hmm. else did you study again? Oh, I did my masters uh, after that. Uh, I think. Well, while my w wife was expecting, I was doing my master's in corporate communication. Mm. So, so that's the two things I did. Then later on, I did my, my digital uh, marketing and things. What well, was the so, choice to go into that field, your personal choice? Was it a, a passion related move? Honestly, it wasn't. We're, you know, sometimes when you go, uh, it's like most of the time when you go to university and you are given it's like you apply for certain courses but you're not given that courses you are you are given something different mm -hmm. so i was given that uh, communication so i just i say okay so communication press i didn't go to the university with the, any i was more interested in architecture uh, exactly oh. actually I, I wanted to do architecture it's like you know um but uh i got communication as uh, perhaps perhaps because of my results of my exam <laughs> <laughs> um, education was also average for me uh, It's like you know so so then once I got communication, I set myself, okay, this is the field that I want to, 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 to do and excel in. So I just uh, made my mind, you know, this is the field that I want to go. So that's about it. Because most of the time at that, where we come from and all that, it's like, you know, you are always uh, either supposed to be a doctor, mm -hmm. uh, an engineer, accountant, those kind of things. So communication, I still remember there was once um, while I was studying, so I came, no, sorry. I started working in TV3 Malaysia at that time. So one of my auntie came to the house and, and then she was asking me, so Santok, what are you doing? You, you, since you studied in university and all that, it's like, you know, what are you doing? What's your, what work? I said, I was in TV3, working in TV3. I said, why are you doing in TV3? Why are you not in the police force? <laughs> I was like, thinking, huh? like, no? after doing degree, you, know, you expect me to go to become a policeman. <laughs> So I was like, you know, still the, the thinking is like yeah. you know, the old thinking of like, you know, your government job yeah. or getting a government job was, 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 the, was the thing. And it's like, you, you'll be respected, yeah. things like that. They never saw this part of, you know, uh, being in communication and they, they don't understand. Mm -hmm. so, so it was like, you know, the mindset changed. Then eventually it's all turned out well, I guess. It looks like it. It <laughs> did turn out well. We're actually glad you didn't become a policeman. <laughs> Now you're here with us. At, uh, you've been here with us at Multimedia for five good years. And I got to be honest with you, um, wh when we heard news that you will be leaving at the end of the year, a lot of people were heartbroken. A lot of people were like, oh, no, we're going to miss Sun Talk. Uh, look, the message is coming in. Amazing. Sun Talk, very humble, lively, lovely, hardworking, generous, and an inspiration to many of us who knew him. He's really impacted my life greatly. He once gave me money to buy a wheelchair for an epileptic child who couldn't walk. That's the person he is. He's li his leaving makes me sad. From Fred, um, Jack's business. Um, Lexus, can you tell him to sign one more contract? <laughs> what really makes him smile? What kind of team spirit does he have in working with the team? How does he want to be remembered? Uh, what What's the one device he will give his son? Oh, do you mean advice or device? Because you write device here, but I feel you talking about advice. And he adds that, please make sure he answers all those questions. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll make him answer those questions. But before we get to these questions, now, you joined Multimedia. Now, you had gone back home, right? Yeah. And then you were invited by Multimedia? Or yeah, you heard so those? I, I left in 2012. Uh, in 2013, January 2013, Chrissy Chum started calling me. I said, who is this this guy calling me? It's like, you know, from, from Ghana. I said, it's like, uh, so he said... Santok, I, I, I need you to come over. I need you to help me with my TV business. Mm -hmm. Then I was thinking, it's like, you know, okay. I, was, I wasn't sure. Uh, perhaps because of some bad experience I had while leaving TV3 towards the end. Okay. 
and then um then uh, of course i need to discuss with my wife my family my kids were already you know almost becoming teenager and all that i need to check with them so we had a discussion on that um my wife said she was still positive about it it's like you know but the issue was like she also was working as a as a, as a teacher so she can't leave her job and my two kids my daughter and my son they said they are just settling into school again so they want to don't want to leave again and then go into, into another school yeah you know changing school at that age yeah. was, was difficult so they all so they said no we are not going to go so if you go you're on your own <laughs> on on this side it's like Chrissy was calling me and again and again he was telling me it's like sir santo i'm coming to malaysia to see you i said please don't come i'm traveling <laughs> At a certain uh, the period of time, he said he wanted to come and see me. I said, no, I'm traveling. Actually, I lied to him. I didn't travel. I you, just didn't want him to come. You lied to him? I lied to Chrissy Chum. Chrissy Chum, I, I lied to you. Sorry. I apologize well. <laughs> you can, uh, have to start with dear Chrissy Chum. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe you lied to my boss. <laughs> Some talk. Why don't you do that? So I lied to him that, you know, I, I was traveling. So, But then it's like they, they persisted. Okay. They persisted and eventually... Um, the head of uh, head of uh, human resource came to Malaysia to see me, and then we had a very good discussion. Rather, in fact, uh, at that time it's like um, uh, Angelo. His name is Angelo. Yeah, Angelo. Uh, he came, and then we didn't even talk about work. He came for I think for a, about a week, and we really had a good time. I was driving him around. We were having good food. There was no discussion. Uh, no discussion about work, except for when I was uh, I was sending him back. I see uh, one incident happened and it was very interesting. So before he leave, I, th I thought of taking him for a massage. So both of us went for a leg, leg massage. And then uh, we were having a leg massage. Then it's like it was almost done and all that. So I said, Angelo, come, let's go. We need to go to the airport. The next thing I hear it was like snoring. <laughs> that guy was really enjoying himself and, and then wow. snoring and all that. So then eventually we went to the airport, only at the airport before he left. For half an hour, we discussed about work. And wow. we discussed about the contract and whatever the the arrangement and all that eventually we agreed so i agreed to come at the airport at, just at the airport for one week work he <laughs> just did a half an hour work and then <laughs> perhaps that was the trick you know yeah, yeah maybe it was it was part of the plan yeah part oh, of the plan. so awesome. so eventually i agreed to come and then eventually when i came then it's like you know then i i look into the business and i said then I told to myself, what did I, did, what did I get myself into? <laughs> <laughs> it was a tough situation at that time. It's like, you know, our TV business was really yeah. not doing well. Yeah. So I really need to, to look at the whole business and, and you know, look at how we can best turn it around. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy, I must say. It wasn't easy. But then uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I think what I had the privilege was I had a good team right you know i could provide the direction i can provide the strategy and all that but if you don't have the right people to execute it then it's going to be difficult what was the it? toughest challenge you had to deal with in that quest making Chrissy Chum believe that my strategy will work okay so katie gave me this assignment they said okay so you look at the business and then see how you can turn around so then no direction was given I was just given, okay, Santo, look at the business and then come up with your, with your strategy. So I have to look at historical information, how we started mm -hmm. the channel and everything and try to understand the, is, is like, you know, uh, try to understand so what was the fundamental behind the, the whole business concept and the, the business model. So I came and then did, did this, this 150 pages slide presentation, business presentation and presented to the, the whole management of the, the company. I remember it's like, I think it took me a few hours to do the whole presentation. At the end of the presentation, everybody gave me a standing ovation. Wow. Except for Chrissy Chum. Oh. He was sitting there and he was like, he was clapping, but I could see from his face because my, my point was like, I need to see him, whether he's convinced. Yeah. And he was like clapping and all that, but he was not like enthusiastic about it and things like that. So I said, then... I, I told myself that uh, I didn't get something right. Mm -hmm. Then I went back to the drawing board. I said, okay, so wh 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 what is it? And all that. So eventually then, we, uh, because at that time we had like, what, seven channels? Mm -hmm. 
then then I, I thought okay so so let me turn it around and like you know uh, establish a, a strategy called shrink to grow okay let's shrink the number of channel to grow to the grow. business right so eventually when i came up with the second strategy then he agreed then he was like happy about it and then we this we, time we, he stood up <laughs> then he was like you know he gave me a tap on my, yeah. my back and all that but one two things i told chris Chung when i came that i'll agree to work with you under two conditions one you need to have trust in me and two, give me space to work. Do not come and interfere or, or you know, yeah. interrupt in, in the business. Because again, from my previous experience. Right. If you can give me these two, then I'm, I'm good to go. Did you get those two? Very much. I mean, he gave me all the support. He gave me all the, 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 the trust. And I'm so thankful to him. And it's like, you know, uh, and because of that, I, I believe that I was able to succeed. Because of the, and of course, he... he Every now and then he'll have his own thing that he wants to contribute inside yeah. and uh, things that he thinks that and which, which is valid because uh, he's the owner, he's the, the major shareholder. So mm -hmm. it's like, you know, he has all the rights to tell us advice. But again, we, one thing about multimedia, I love about multimedia is like this concept we call truth over harmony, where anybody and everybody can speak their mind and give their opinion and they'll be heard. Mm. And that if the, 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 their argument is valid, so we'll, we'll adopt it. So based on that, then uh, my whole team, again, the, the team, and I always say that, that I, I, I have not changed uh, any team members. I'm mm -hmm. still working with the same people I came to meet. A lot of time, you know, when, when new boss come, a lot of people are, are worried. Yeah. Especially at the, at the top that now changes will come and then somebody will be get sacked and all that but i never did any of that and um i then continued to work with the, my, my team and then we are where we are it's like we managed to turn around. i was given a, a target of five years to turn around the company but we did it in three years so wow so that you again, were given a target of five years and you turned around the company in, in three, three years. years yeah congratulations thank you <laughs> Wow. I was actually <laughs> going to ask you where you f uh, wh where the company is now, but you actually mm -hmm. summed it up nicely. And yeah. now I am sure your heart is glad. Oh yeah, yeah. Again, that's one of my proudest moments I would say in my life that yeah. when when the 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 company eventually from uh, a loss went into profit, and um, you know, um, and that was my like sort of like okay, I've achieved, I've okay. achieved another trophy. So, what if? I put Chrissy Chum on the phone right now. He mm -hmm. says, Sun Talk, <laughs> uh, you've done a good job mm -hmm. in five years. Mm -hmm. Can you do another five years? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Will you? Yeah, why not? You would? I will. Ah, so why are you going? <laughs> <laughs> if you why, why? Who, who, who say you go anywhere? No, no, no. It's, there's always time for everything. It's like, I think it's like I need to take a break. I need to because yeah. um, I've, I've given the five years and my family especially. Yeah. They need me. I mean, I, uh, as much as I'm, I'm so happy that, you know, things worked out here in Ghana. But uh, I also have to think of my children, for example, losing five years of their, them growing up without their father close to them. So, uh -huh. you know, so let me work on that as well. So, so where are they now? They're back. Um, my my wife and my daughter is here in Ghana. Okay, and, so uh, so they are home now. I'm sure they are listening to you now. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you hope so? Why? You don't think they will they will listen to you? Oh, they, you they didn't they, tell they, them they, that they, you are coming on my show. Of course they know. It's like I'm, yeah. I'm sure they're listening. Uh, and okay. my son is back home in Malaysia. Actually, oh, okay. he didn't come. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, um, famous Sachichigui says I didn't get to work much with him before i left multimedia but after my exit we have met many times and interacted on many fronts great guy with great style one thing i admire about him is how well he celebrates his workers i wish him well in his next exploits he made he's made his mark in ghana amazing thank you um you did have a good team and i gotta be honest with you, your team love you they they, they just love you a lot of them are, are so sad that you're leaving unfortunately um but of course, you've, you've given us reasons why you need to go back sure. and, and be with family uh, as well. So we would, would respect that. If Yayep says, Lexus, he really blended well with GH. He speaks like a Ghanaian even. I got confused initially till you repeated his identity. Um, 
why is he leaving though? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know. Okay, if yeah, now you you you, you got to know why he's leaving. We, we were excited about this moment. We wanted to make it very special mm -hmm. for you. Sure. Um, and so because of that, we, we, we you know. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at the gates, uh, the doors, the doors of, <laughs> of, of the I'm studio? <laughs> I, one, one thing I, I I need to say is that you you support your your workers a lot. You and and just like famous was saying, you always celebrate your workers. I I, I, I you're always there for work with Lexus. Mm -hmm. I and he's always <laughs> leading. I mean, and you're a fan of fitness as well. You do a lot of fitness. You encourage a lot of the team here as well to get fit. We, we sure. go for accents together. Mm -hmm. You know, you are there at events and whatnot. Look, it's totally, totally impressive. Maybe we need to walk again on Saturday. The last, the next edition before you go. Okay, on sure. We can walk. Um, game. Yeah, the last one before you go. <laughs> sure. But I've got a big surprise for you. Turn around. Oh my god. <laughs> we just had Santog's best friend walk in all the way from Malaysia. <laughs> okay. So so have a seat, have a seat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Santog's best friend just walked in. Tell you're welcome. Thank you very much. And, and what's the name again? If you can My tell. name is Hemant. Hemant. Yes. Awesome. And and you had to make this moment special. I'm sure it means a lot to you as well. Yes, of course. It is a lot of, you know, uh, since he came, I have been telling him, I want to visit your studio. Uh -huh. He said, definitely one day I will take you. And I'm so happy today that I got this opportunity. Yeah. When he is being... Uh, Award celebrated. celebrated as yes. a personality yes and i'm here and we have a very special <laughs> cake as well <laughs> okay edamax is coming Edmund. in with emma morrison Hello. with a very very Hello. special Hello. fruity cake um with uh what's written on that we will we'll miss, miss you, you Santa. Everyone. uh everyone, everyone. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh guys come through come through come through oh, yep yep okay. oh yeah emma so, morrison yes. one of my colleagues since tv3 and we are still together here in multimedia okay, group let me borrow your microphone <laughs> yes you can yes, so oh emma please have a seat let me go but before you even talk and talk even more surprise your <laughs> wife <laughs> and your daughter <laughs> are here as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> So Santog's wife and his daughter are walking as well. Please have a seat, and 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 let's get Emma to say what she had to say before Emma, before she forgets all of that. It's the whole celebration in the studio. You can actually check it out live on our Facebook page. You know, I've known Santog for like for nine years. Yeah. Worked in my TV three. Right. Um, he's really supported me a lot. Even this year, when I won an award for Corporate Woman of the Year, he was there cheering uh -huh. me on. And I was so touched about that. Yeah. You know, I've learned so much from him. You know, it hasn't always been smooth, but, you know, we, we've been <laughs> good friends and he's been my boss. Uh, I've never really had like a mentor mentor, but I can say that I've learned so much from him. From him. Attention for detail. That is Santo. <laughs> Wow. I don't like this. Change this. Yeah. Do that. No, no, no. I mean, can't you see it? Can't you see it? Does this look good? Does this look good? I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Santo. Oh, uh, awesome. This is so cool. And Santo's wife is here. Let me <laughs> let me say hello to her, Mrs. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you very much for nice. having us here. And, and, and you were in Ghana for a little bit before you left? Yes. How, how was the experience? Uh, it was good. It was really good. So Santok tells us that he has to come back to family. You you, you miss him like like that, like so much? Yeah. You want him back to Malaysia? <laughs> 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 it's like the family want him back? Yeah. You don't want him to spend some more time with us? Well, I mean... Uh, <laughs> I think he has already spent five years here. So That's like, enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she wants yeah. her husband back. Yeah. Ghana, please let her husband go. <laughs> and she would want her daddy back as well. Yeah. I know. Tell me, how's it been with daddy away and all? It's been hard, but um, good as well. Because I think we've bonded more because of the distance because mm. we like call every day yeah and we've definitely gotten even more closer than if he were to be in malaysia yeah but i mean we miss him oh awesome and and we're gonna cut the cake in a little bit but uh, i've seen him do adventurous stuff mm -hmm. and i think i saw him do one of those adventurous stuff with you <laughs> in a video which one was it 
the skydiving sky diving or, of, bungee, or jumping. bungee jumping i think it was a skydiving yeah. mm-hmm. did, yep. did you sky fly diving. out of a plane yes with, with yes. Your, with your, yes you did that yep okay. whose idea was it <laughs> your dad's <laughs> idea, <laughs> idea yeah. wow you 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 took her skydiving <laughs> i took her and my son as well so yeah. although everybody was like a, uh, was almost chickening out <laughs> <laughs> but as uh, once you're on the aircraft so there's no turning back so yeah. it's basically it's like you know wow it's just like yeah face your fear how many how many feet uh i think it was like 15,000 15, feet 15,000 yeah. feet out of a plane out of a plane with your daughter and your son <laughs> yes let me find out what your wife thought about it <laughs> <laughs> I was against it. I was telling. I was actually like discouraging them. You know, you really want to do this. Do you really want to do this? And they went ahead. They said, no, the, yeah, the one thing is like about the, the bungee jump. Yeah. We also did the bungee jump, and my parents also was with us. <laughs> and uh, before our turn, I would be all watching other people jumping uh, down in my. But when it came to my turn, my mom just turned around and just sat somewhere, <laughs> some corner. So I'm not going to see you jumping. It's like you know, I'm not going to see you. It's like you know, going through that. Wow. But that skydiving, he has appropriately captioned that uh, fear is temporary yeah. and experience is permanent yeah. wow yeah. i like that <laughs> fear is temporary experience is permanent yeah wow let's have emma morrison and everybody joins on talk so we can cut this very s- special okay. cake from golden tulip hotel golden wow. tulip decided to make a very special cake they know sun talk is health conscious and all of that <laughs> so they had to you know make something special for Santox Singh. So thank you very much uh, to the team at Golden Tulip Hotel. This Christmas we're spending uh, some time at Golden Tulip. You can come by. Uh, there's uh, the joyous breakfast on Wednesday, December 25th from 6 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. and Santa Family Lunch uh, as well from 12.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. and the exotic dinner is from 6 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. at the Golden Tulip Accra. Uh, so Wednesday, Christmas Day, you've got to spend it at Golden Tulip Hotel. All right, so uh, we're going to cut the cake. Um, uh, anybody want to say something before we cut the cake and sing a song like we'll miss you or something? <laughs> you know, Emma Morrison. I say the name of the sure, father. Sure, sure. The yeah, in the name of the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh Amen. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, okay. And I his favorite that. song is CCTV from King Promise. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna dance? Uh, oh, no, 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 he's gonna sing. He's gonna no, sing I it. I can't sing. I didn't learn. I'm you didn't learn the song? <laughs> no, no, not yet. So what? When you maybe tomorrow to at the staff party? <laughs> <laughs> no, all my listeners will hear you sing that song. You know? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, please, he still not answered my question. What really makes him smile? What makes you smile, Santok? What makes me smile? I think um, when uh, what makes me smile? I wonder. Oh, everything makes me smile. Everything. Yeah, yeah you, it's like you know. True, you're always smiling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> um, when I see my team, I smile. How I, do you want to be remembered? Oh wow! How am I supposed to remember? I mean, uh, I don't know. It's like um, remember to have made impact in someone's life. Mm. At least uh, to a certain extent, it's like in whatever way. Okay. You know, that's uh, it's like and and so that I always say it's like you know, if I have made impact in your life, I hope you you make impact on another life as well. Okay. So let's the, get the chain going. Yeah. Because it 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 will go a long way. Don't let that chain of love break. Break. Yeah. And I love that song. Mm-hmm. And finally one advice you have for your son or the youth work hard there's no shortcut in life okay um we uh work hard work smart and then give your best the success will come running after you joy 99.7 sun talk saying md <laughs> multi tv Hmm, okay. <laughs> Some things came into my head, but it's okay. He's still my MD. <laughs> I have to say those after he's gone. 
But thank you so much, Santo. Sure. Ghana loves You're you, welcome. and we're actually hoping that something will bring you back. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Uh, Ghana is always in my heart, and yeah. then I can never forget. Yeah, yeah. What one message would you give to Kwesi Chum? Keep the passion going. He's the one who's driving all of us, actually. Uh, his passion towards uh, uh, the, 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 the company, the passion towards uh, media is something that is like... I remember that once... Um, I sat him down in my office. I said, Quisi, that's one thing that I've always wanted to ask you. I said, why didn't you have your children into the business? Then he said, Santok, is media is something that is my passion. I'm not too sure whether the, my children have the same passion. So let me run my, my own thing and let them do their own th- what, what, what they want to do. So that's where I said, like, no, he's the one who's like, honestly driving me to, to achieve. It's like, you know, he's a real father. He's a real great guy. And it's like we are, I think Ghana should be proud that to have him. One word for Miss Emma Morrison. Miss Emma Morrison, I'm passing on the baton to you. It's over to you now. Uh, but keep keep doing what you are. You you do best. Um, uh, lead the team. Uh, become a good team player, and uh, and and provide the direction and the vision and the motivation to the team. Santok Singh. <laughs> Thank you so much. God You're bless welcome. You. God bless you too. We'll come back to Malaysia. We'll come there. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot to my team, Madam Nightier, Philip Naya, Beku Sanko, Fisa, and Ofuri. Anita Mirabel. We had a, we've had a great, great, great day. And you need to stay tuned in to Drive Time on Joy and Joy FM. Tomorrow we're back with a Friday edition of Drive Time. Remember, we're walking on Saturday morning. Walk with Lexus, 6 a.m. We're meeting at Ayi Mensa to Fijiasi JHS. We go celebrate and have a good time. It's time to go together. But hey, to you. switch and pay for whatever you're buying using your MasterCard. You can buy groceries, shop online, shop at your favorite store, or using your MasterCard, skip all the ATM queues. MasterCard for easy, safe, and secure transactions. It's a celebration.